What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. You probably clicked on this channel because you wanted to see how to install a front sprocket on a Honda Grom. If you haven't already, go down there and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, guys. Here's the new sprocket we're gonna be installing. It's a 14th tooth. The factory is a 15th tooth. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, before you get started, here's the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 3H drive ratchet, quarter inch drive ratchet, a 10 millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter wrench, a 19 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter socket, and then if you haven't got one, you need to get one a torque wrench. You can do it by feel, but I always go by torque specs, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, if you have bike stands, we're going to put the bike on stands. This is gonna be a 14 millimeter, and this is a 19 millimeter. We'll get to that later. Step number two, it's gonna be an eight millimeter socket. We're gonna take this sprocket cover off. There's a bolt here and a bolt down here. that out of the way here's your sprocket guys you got two 10 millimeter bolts holding that retainer pin in or that's the next step step number three is going to be take the bolts out all right before we finish taking that sprocket all the way off we're going to to break loose this rear axle so the chain can move so remember 19 millimeter and a 14 millimeter on this side we're just going to break it loose so we don't be able to move take part of these take the retainer clip the rest of the way out okay guys this Retainer clip has to come out a certain way. Got the retainer clip off. Pull the sprocket out. Boom. 15 tooth sprocket. Okay, guys, here's the new sprocket. As you can see, it's smaller. Got less teeth. 15 tooth, 14 tooth. Go ahead and slide the chain on it, make it a little bit easier for us later. We gotta loosen these back here. Gotta loosen the adjusters. 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter. Give the chain some slack so we can put the New sprocket on. And there we go, sprocket on. Uh, sprocket's on there. Sprocket's on the back. Put our retaining clip back on here. Remember it goes a certain way, guys. Remember guys, you can't push the sprocket all the way back because what I ran into, I was pushing the sprocket back all the way and it wasn't wanting to go where I needed it to go. Torque specs on these bolts are gonna be nine foot pounds. I'll put us a wrench in right here to make it where it won't move. Sprocket's on. 
Now we're just gonna repeat the same steps that we did taking it off. So you put the cover back on it. These also torque in nine foot pounds. There's that. All right, guys, now we're gonna adjust the chain. It's got to have an inch, 10 inch and three eighths free play. Rear axle nut, guys, 44 foot pounds. Remember, 19 millimeter and 14 millimeter on the other side. All right, guys, after you torque it, you're gonna wanna check your adjustments. Well, final step, guys, is take your bike off the stand. And there you guys, that's how you change a 15th tooth sprocket down to a 14th tooth sprocket. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already guys. I'll catch you on the next one.